three reasons why you need Urokochi in your hanger and why it is so powerful still after the rebalance. Hello everybody and welcome to my new video and in this one, yeah, like I said, I want to show you the Orochi in combination with the 100 meter range weapons and my setup I will show you at the end of this video. So before we start, it would be great. Please leave a like here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So before we start here with the first reason, um, yeah, we are going to capture one of the beacons here. A great map to use this setup here. It is a lot of defense in it and with this weapons you have a lot of damage output. I always make sure that my weapons are reloaded because there are so many strong opportunities, so many uh, strong players on the battlefield. Here in this case, at first, um, those weapons very great against all the stealth robots which are at the battlefield and you can be fast with the Orokochi going to them and capture beacons here. So, the first one, the good all-rounder. Yeah, you can use this um, robot with uh, any kind of weapon setup. Longer range, mid range or short range works very well. You have a lot of damage output with two medium and um, yeah, two light weapon slots and um, yeah, the defense in its ability is cool. It is not so powerful like before anymore, but uh, in a combination with some skills and um, yeah, the um, yeah, robot pilot itself and uh, the drone, yeah, it is still a great, great robot to um, yeah, go to the battlefield and do a lot of damage. Here we go. Um, yeah, like I said, the all-rounder, you can go fast to the beacons. This is immediately Oh, this is great to have uh, when the yeah, team on the other side want to have a beacon fast too. You can go fast um, to a beacon, go on it and hold it and then do some damage and reload your ability like I do here and going back and yeah, destroyed another Orokochi and look how fast we got this guy down. Here I decided, okay, I have the beacon here now. Let's go a little bit backwards because the enemy team is firing here on me with yeah, three robots it was before four and now i decided okay let's go into the middle and let's try to um yeah get the middle beacon here let's go and this one is going far away and um i have to reload here in this position uh, this is uh, one tip here uh, always try to reload your weapons and then look at the damage output you can uh, get this one very fast down here Another cool point is against flying robots, you can yeah, shoot them with the ability away, like in this case here. Um, yeah, he's going uh, over the beacon, so I can recapture this beacon here. He is too high and he will land. And then, if he comes down, then we are going to destroy him very fast with this setup here. So I heard a lot of voices that the Orokochi is still unuseful uh, for the battlefield uh, after the rebalance. But for me here, since I have this one and uh, play it well, the right uh, drone combination, it is very useful and helpful. Okay, let's go to the second one. So the Titan charge ability. A lot of players um, yeah, use this and I do this too here in this uh, combination with this kind of weapons here. Look on the left side, you can see how fast I increase in this example and this was only 38 um, yeah, seconds, how fast I increase the Titan bar. Um, yeah, it is so crazy and um, you can run in some kind of maps, uh, short range maps, maybe to the enemy team and then do a lot of damage because um, yeah, you know those weapons uh, do multiple target hitting by 25 degrees and uh, this can help a lot. So if the enemy is uh, not uh, so active at the first minute, then you can be very good and fast and destroy the enemy team very well here, like in this combination. Um, I destroyed here both robots in seconds. That was crazy. And um, yeah, so there are definitely chances to um, yeah get a Titan after yeah uh, 30 seconds of gameplay. If you are fast enough, I think a record was something like this. The only thing you have to do is go fast to the enemy team and then do a lot of damage to multiple targets. And then you're going with your Titan in yeah 30 to 40 seconds. Um, till uh, yeah, the game is available. 
a wonderful thing is that you need to time this one or this ability to charge your titan well um it don't even work often because if you have strong enemies too then you have to decide how to um do this uh here in this example in this video i wanted to show you uh, how great this robot still is so i didn't choose my titan uh too early and the cool thing is that um yeah on this match here, I only use my Oho Kochi and the damage and the capturing beacons was so nice and um, this was an accept or well, this was a wonderful example to show you um, how strong this beautiful robot still is. And then we are going here to step three now. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, this is the greatest point in my mind. You know me um, because I play the game because of fun and uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, since the rebalance of this robot, it is so not so strong anymore. We all know this, uh, this is cool, but um, it is then more skill-based now to play this Oho Kochi build here. I have now a lot of defense because of playing well and uh, using the drone well and everything on the robot helps a lot. Um, and then, yeah, have a lot of fun here too. Go to the beacons, capture them back, do damage to the enemy, um, yeah, use again my mothership and so on and so on. This is the most important part here and yeah, please let me know in the comments what do you think about this build here. Do you have an Orokochi still in your hangar or two? Let me know in the comments which kind of weapon setups you use. I'm very interested in it uh, because I think I will try out other builds too. Uh, not only this kind of weapons here. Flame, flame throwers would be insane I think too and ice rockets. Um, yeah, all those are still useful and great and i think a cool opportunity to play with the oho kochi here we go we got this beacon then uh we can get this one here he don't even have its ability anymore so we're going fast again to the middle here and having fun to capture this beacon yeah this is what i wanted to say and show you uh, that the oho kochi is still a wonderful robot here to use to do damage and capturing beacons it is so insane for uh, team gameplay um, squad gameplay and so on and so on increase everything uh, on your hangar in my mind so if you have the chance if you still have one of those Orokojis in your hangar then try to use it and have fun with it and tell me how do you like it okay so yeah we capturing beacons here back as you can see and uh, the enemy team are only three um, my teammates was amazing here um, with me and we destroyed, uh, we destroyed here Titans and uh, going to another Luchador here. But uh, as you can see, um, it don't take yeah, seconds here and then we win this game. And now I want to show you how crazy cool um, the damage output was. 12 million damage, 18 destroyed robots and 11 beacons. This is an insane thing. And in the end, here is my setup. Please don't forget to hit the like button here, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. This will increase everything and leave a comment. So nuclear amplifier, repair amplifier and immune amplifier, two times repair amplifier would be insane too. I use here at this video the Pascal drone. You know, this one is very strong and um, the Webco pilot, um, tough guy, destroyer, roadhog, cautious pilot, armor expert and stubborn warrior worked for me very well. And now have a wonderful day. We will see you soon. Aloha. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep.